Welcome to Automation of the Week. My name is Brian Hayes, and today I'm gonna to show you how to send out a monthly scheduled flow. This can be a little bit tricky because when you first create a scheduled flow, it only gives you the option to send it once, send it daily, or send it weekly. But there's a trick with formulas that's gonna allow you to send this whenever you want, on the first of the month, on the 15th, or on the first of the year, etc. Now there's a few different use cases for this. Most often it's some sort of notification that needs to go out on a regular basis, but you don't need it going out on a weekly or a daily basis. Monthly is just fine. So let's take a look at it. First thing you wanna do is come to the flow screen and click new flow. And then of course, we're gonna choose schedule triggered flow, hit create. And now here's our option to set that schedule. We can choose our start date. I'm just gonna to choose today, which is a Monday. For the start time, let's go with 9 a.m. And now frequency. We've got once, daily, and weekly. For this example, I'm gonna choose daily. This gives us the most flexibility when it comes to controlling when we want the actual logic of the automation to run. And then click done. We've got our flow that's going to start every single day at 9 a.m. Our next step is to put in a decision point here that'll let it end gracefully if it's not the first or 15th of the month or whenever we actually want the logic to run. So in order to do that, we need to create a formula. Click new resource on the left-hand side then select formula, and I'm gonna call this formula day of the month. Under data type, select number, and then in the formula, go ahead and write in today. This is the today function, open parentheses, close parentheses. This just gets replaced with today's date. Now there's additional functions that we can use around this to give us what day of the month it is. If you search for the word day in the function screen here, a few of them pop up. The first one is just day with the date inside of it. That is gonna give us the day of the month. It's a number between one and 31. So if we want this to only run on, let's say the first and the 15th of any given month, then this is the function we wanna use. We also have an option for day of year. So if we only want this logic to run on the first of the year, then we can use this one. And then we also have weekday, which is gonna give us a number between one and seven to tell us what day of the week this particular day is. Let's choose the first one, day. So here's our function for day, and then inside of that function, it's expecting the date. And that's where we put our other function for today. This will automatically put in today's date and then give us the number that today is in that month, one through 31. Check syntax, make sure it looks good. Decimal places we don't need, so I'm gonna change that to zero, and then click done. Now what we have is a resource that's going to give us the day of the month for today automatically. And we can create a little bit of logic around that. So in this decision element, let's ask, is today the first or 15th? For our new outcome, I'm just gonna write yes. For our default outcome, I'm gonna write no. And now with our logic, we can choose from our resources. There's our day of the month formula that we just created. Select that and we'll have it equal to one. Then we can add another logical statement here that's very similar. We're gonna add day of the month again, and we'll say this time it equals the 15th. We don't want and to be our logical operator between these two conditions. We wanna change that to or with this drop down here, which means we're gonna go down this path if it's either the first or the 15th of any given month. And then click done. On the no side, I'm just gonna add another step here to end it. Now on the left side, on the yes side, this is where you can add all of your logic that you wanna actually run. In this case, I'm just gonna add an email and we'll say, send a reminder email to update hours. And then from there, you can fill out all these other parameters here to put in the content of the email, set the recipient, etc. And that's it, pretty easy. You can start that flow on a daily basis and then have the flow check to see what day of the month or day of the year today is. And that's gonna let you have tighter control over when that logic for that flow actually runs. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.